Good evening, our beloved viewers. Welcome to this English news edition. Here are the top stories. Participation of the head of state at the opening ceremony of uh, the summit of Muslims countries. And on the international scenes, at least seven dead, uh, including four children, in an Israeli raid on a house in Hotel in Wafa. Those were the headlines. Thanks for joining us in our newsroom. The Gambian capital hosted this Saturday for two days uh, the a summit of uh, the Organization of uh, Islamic Conference, whose uh, team is uh, threatening unity and solidarity through the dialogue for sustainable development. Uh, this uh, a giant posture bearing the likeness of a Gambian head of state. Uh, uh, on which uh, words of welcome to the summit host are uh, uh, written in English, uh, French, and Arabic, uh, uh, endorse the strategic uh, location and uh, busy areas of uh, the capital city. Let us uh, remember that uh, the Gambian authorities uh, did not uh, fail on uh, resources by equipment, uh, the equipment this uh, themselves with a uh, road and Hotels infrastructure by underlying the Benjil International Airport to the uh, to be able to accommodate newly. Uh, it is clear that the uh, Gambian capital is living in the uh, excitement of a 15th uh, organization summit uh, to the uh, rhythm of a colorful event. The opening ceremony uh, program begin with the arrival of a delegate followed by that. Uh, the head of state and government who were welcomed by the president of uh, the Republic of Cambian after a group uh, of a photo the summit opened so with a recitation of uh, the verses of uh, Quran followed by a declaration of uh, the president of uh, the summit uh, the representative of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia the adoption of uh, the composition of office uh, and the official handover of uh, presidency to the Gambian after the opening ceremony the head of state and government uh, met behind closed doors uh, to examine the uh, report of uh, the presence of uh, permanent committees uh, in this uh, organization. Following the uh, meeting in the summit, uh, the president of uh, the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Margili, spoke uh, with his Mauritanian counterpart uh, and also a uh, current uh, uh, president of the African Union on uh, the Djibouti side, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mr. Mohamed Ali Yusuf, Ambassador of Morocco and uh, representative to the Gambian uh, representative, uh, Mr. Mohamed Duhur as well as uh, the ambassador of uh, the Republic of Djibouti to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and permanent representative of our country to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, uh, uh, Mr. Dial Din Bamakrama. During this uh, meeting, the two parties examined bilateral relations and ways uh, to further uh, strengthen them. Uh, his talk uh, for uh, this, um, his uh, Mauritanian counterpart were focused on strengthening the bilateral relation and several uh, common interests. Indeed, after that, the uh, President of uh, the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Margili, uh, spoke with his uh, counterpart from Senegal, uh, His Excellency uh, Monsieur uh, Dumai Fai, and uh, he noted the presence of the Senegalese uh, side on the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, the diplomatic advisors uh, on the Djibouti side, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mr. Mohamed Ali Yusuf, and the Ambassador to Morocco, and also a representative to the Gambian uh, part, Mr. Mohamed Tuhur, and uh, as well as uh, the Djibouti Ambassador to the Saudi Arabia, Mr. Dial Din Bamakroma also took part during the meeting. The two sides examined the bilateral relation and ways uh, to further strengthen uh, the uh, cooperation and bilateral relation. Uh, the 
a relation between several subjects of uh, common interest uh, over uh, talk uh, during the meeting. The side, the two sides examine bilateral relation and ways uh, uh, to further uh, deepen uh, focus on uh, strengthening uh, this uh, subject of uh, the common interest. Finally, the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Mergili, met uh, with his, uh, uh, the Vice President of uh, Cote d'Ivoire on the sidelines of the Djiboutian uh, side, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mr. Mohamed Ali Yusuf, and uh, the Ambassador of Morocco, but also the representative to the Gambian, uh, as well as the Djiboutian Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, participated in this meeting, the two sides examined the bilateral relation and the ways and means to strengthen uh, his uh, talk. So with the Vice President of uh, the Ivory Coast will focus on strengthening bilateral relation and several other subjects of a common interest. During this meeting, the two sides examined the bilateral relation and ways uh, to further uh, strengthen them his talk uh, with his ivory cast uh, uh, counterparts uh, will focus on uh, strengthening the relation and several other subjects of our common interest. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Magiri, recall the personal friendship uh, with the President of uh, Ivory Coast. On the sidelines of uh, the Islamic Cooperation Summit, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mr. Muhammad Ali Yusuf, uh, held a discussion with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of African Cooperation and Moroccans uh, residing abroad, Mr. Nasser Burite. The two uh, ministers uh, discuss uh, the aspect of uh, cooperation and bilateral relations existing between Djibouti and, and uh, the ways uh, to uh, the enhance uh, uh, between the two countries. Uh, I have a uh, broader and more welcoming uh, horizon, he said. The Djiboutian ambassador to the United States of America, the permanent representative of our countries uh, to the United Nations, uh, uh, Mr. Mohammed Ziad, uh, and held an agreement of uh, understanding with the ambassador of uh, the Republic of uh, uh, Uzbekistan related to establishing diplomatic relations between the two countries. It should be noted that this agreement embodies uh, the commitment of the two countries uh, to strengthen relation friendship, the opening promising uh, and to stabilize uh, fruitful cooperation between the two countries. The Minister of Economic and Finance, Ms. Elias Musa Dewali, received uh, in his uh, residence uh, a team of National uh, Institute uh, of uh, Statistics uh, and the process, uh, the third willing indeed. Uh, this initiative highlighted the importance of ensuring fair data collection and fair regardless of uh, positions uh, or official position reflected uh, to the commitment of uh, authorities uh, by ensuring full transparency in the census process, thus enhancing the public confidence in the integrity institution. This major uh, will reflect the authority's desire to uh, break down the symbolic barriers that uh, could hinder the collection. In a related context, uh, the following the registrations, the Minister of uh, uh, Finance, Mr. Elias Musa Dewali, uh, were the uniform of a census employee resident to blend in the crowd with the crowds and walks of the city street, uh, meeting families and checking on them in condition, its conditions. Uh, this rare and exemplary gesture demonstrate his personal commitment to contribute uh, the data collection and shading light on the, uh, highlighting the critical importance of this approach. Uh, his presence on the ground was welcomed by residents as a symbol of uh, his commitment to transparency and justice uh, in the process of a third uh, population and housing. Since she's working 
uh, side by side uh, with the National Institute of Statistic official uh, demonstrate uh, clearly the government is desire to promote uh, an a fair commitment uh, population uh, census uh, and to ensure that every citizen uh, uh, a fair way to this initiative. In his uh, intervention, the Minister of uh, Finance, Mr. Elias Musa Dawali, uh, recalled the length of uh, these regional census campaigns uh, in Djibouti, which constitute, he said, a decisive step in the country's development, uh, thanks to the accurate and updated demographic data, which will play an essential role in the development uh, policies uh, an effective uh, development program aimed at uh, improving quality, the life of people of Djibouti, and enhancing the future prosperous uh, uh, to all the citizens of uh, Djibouti, conclude the minister. After a preparation that lasted for several weeks, the Yemeni school in Djibouti established today, Saturday, in the Great Hall of People's Palace, the graduation ceremony of the third uh, 33 batch of male and female students in the two years of secondary schools, which was named the Light of Hope Batch. The ceremony took place under the patronage of uh, the Ambassador of the Republic of Yemen and the diplomatic corps in uh, Djibouti, uh, but also in the presence of the Minister of uh, Islamic Affairs and Doyman, Mr. Mumin Hassan Bure, the Ambassador of Arabic Countries in Djibouti, and the Parliamentary Representative, Organization, Bodies, Education, Institution, and Parents, as well as member of uh, the third batch, uh, 39, a male and female student attend for this ceremony. The ceremony which was which has became an annual tradition held by the Yemeni school at the end of the academic year. The graduation ceremony represents uh, an exceptional and important moment uh, in the life of uh, the male and female students so who completed its secondary school stage. In his speech, uh, the head of uh, the school is uh, founding committee, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman Ahmed Taha, deliver a speech uh, on the occasion. He stressed uh, the penury rules uh, played by the Yemeni school, which uh, made it uh, to the practical, uh, scientific, uh, and uh, the educational system sources uh, in, uh, in aspiration in our country. In turn, in his speech, uh, the Yemeni ambassador to Djibouti expressed uh, his thank and appreciation to the President of uh, the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Margili, and to all the parties supporting the Yemeni school. Uh, he did not fail to congratulate uh, all the uh, female and male students who completed its secondary school stage, looking forward to enrolling in the university education and achieving more shine in the glorious uh, uh, journey. The Secretary General of the Minister of Health, uh, Mr. Mohammed Ali Muhammad Ahmed, Muhammad Ali Muhammad, uh, accompanied by a high-level delegation, made an inspection tour to the health structure in Arta region. The visit aimed to access uh, the current uh, condition in the health facilities where he conducted uh, the uh, discussion with the regional authorities uh, of Arta region about the challenges facing the center, uh, health center in the region. This visit was uh, an opportunity for both parties uh, to discuss uh, priority health uh, issues uh, in the region of Arta, enhancing the cooperation between the various government authorities. The, during the third the Secretary General of the Ministry of Health held a meeting with the head of uh, the health center in Arta and discussed uh, with them ways and means to improve uh, access to the health care and strengthen the capabilities of uh, the structure. 
In Ali Sabih, now under the supervision of uh, the Ministry of uh, National Education and Vocational Training, uh, is it hosted uh, the headquarters of the Resources Center uh, Educational in Ali Sabih Inspection Closing Ceremony, the project uh, to encourage uh, the extra school schooling reading. It is uh, noteworthy that uh, this project, uh, which aims to promote reading in basic education, a uh, call for these uh, issues has been completed. It was uh, launched at the beginning of uh, the year to, uh, 2022 in Ali Sabih region. This program falls within the framework of the project to promote reading in basic education and is implemented on National Union of a Woman uh, with the support of USAID. This project aims to improve uh, the student's reading performance in basic education uh, grade of uh, first uh, till uh, fifth, five. In the context of uh, combating the smuggling of good uh, and negative affect uh, the national economy in Ali Sabih, the national policy station of uh, Ali Sabih region is close uh, cooperation with customs sees a significant amount of uh, smuggled cut, uh, which was uh, on the way to the city of uh, Djibouti markets illegally. In this regard, uh, the detachments uh, uh, made confiscate a significant amount of smuggled cut estimated at more than 2,000 uh, kilograms on this way to Djibouti capital. The Djibouti uh, football tennis table uh, team shine in the regional championship for senior health in Kampala were he ranked fourth in the overall standings and won the bronze medals for merits. The players and coaching staff deserve praise for their dedications and exemplary representations. The goals of Olympic qualification was achieved. Two main goals were a target during this tournament. The goals of African judos is to win a medals and enhance qualification for the next Olympic. And now moving on to the international since the death of injuries killed in an Israeli bombing that target a house north of the city of Rafa, south of Gaza Strip. About 100 students occupied a building at the university in a move to the protest the war in Gaza demanding an end, a significant cooperation with Israel. Palestinians have been dying for over 200 days but were not being heard on Prosper. For now, there is a global movement to get government to take action, but it is not happening. That is why we want to. Uh, the university involved now said on the I IFP radio. This is it for this edition. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening.